Hello everybody, my name is Avery. Um, today is going to be a really quick video where I'm showing you how to calculate the angle between two objects. Um, basically, uh, for game development, say you have a character or a gun and you want it to point at the mouse or anything like that. This is usually, um, everything I'm going to be showing is just for 2D stuff. Uh, most of the concepts apply for 3D, but it's a little bit more complicated. Um, but yeah, so the <clears throat> it's just gonna be 2D vectors, uh, just two points in X and a Y. Um, I don't really know all the math behind it. I'm gonna show you how to do it itself. I don't really know how to explain how everything works, <laughs> but it's gonna be using sine and cosine, which uh, um, I mean it's something basic that we all learn in math uh, in high school and whatnot. And uh, but yeah, so basically, I mean, we're just calculating. Say if there's a our player and our mouse is over here, we want to get the distance between it and figure out the angle um, between it. So then we can rotate the player to look um, towards the the mouse. Um, and this could be used for anything in case you want like an enemy to look at the main player or something like that. Uh, so here's just the example of what I have. So here's just the gun and we're gonna make it so the gun can look at the mouse. So the gun is based off of an angle. And so now we can just have it rotate on the angle. It's just like this. This is a degree, um, at least for, I'm using SDL2. SDL2 uses degrees for rotations. And in case you ever wanted to rotate correctly, you see how it's rotating from the butt of the gun, the handle or whatever it's called. It you need to tell it to rotate from there. If not, it's just going to rotate from the center. Uh, so you want to tell it the center of your object. And the center of the object is just going to be... It depends on the way your gun is, but it's going to be X0. And then it's going to be half... The Y is going to be half the width, so it's going to make it down here. You can make it out here, too. So you can add, a, like, X equals, like, 2 or something. So you can rotate it from this point instead of rotating the gun from here. But now, we don't want it to just spin. We want it to be able to look at the mouse. Uh, so for that we can calculate the distance between the mouse and the gun and by calculating the distance between the gun and the mouse we can do the angle or we use the arc tangent uh, two. two just means we can give in uh, two different uh, uh, two numbers to put into it arc tan just by itself you only put in a single thing um, so you put in the y distance and the x distance and then this is going to return a radian, I believe it was called, what it's called, but like I said, at least for SDL2, we need to have a, a degree for it to spin, so I'm just converting it to a degree, multiplied by 180 divided by pi, and pi is just a variable, I have 3.14, and now we can see from this that it seems to be looking at the mouse, uh, the coordinate beside the mouse is just the mouse's coordinate, except for, I can show you render a line from where it's drawing and as you can see it's not exactly in the center of the gun so every time you have a player or your gun or anything like that you're gonna have to kind of align it to make it so it actually looks directly at it so we're, we can just try some things where we, ha we already know the center because we I made the center where it was just the, like I said, the x is zero and the y is half of the height. And so basically, if we were to do that, I have this other line to represent it as well. Oh. There's an error. My bad. Uh, read out. Comment this. Alright. And now we can see, at least it knows the starting point of it, but it's still off a little bit. Um, so if we were to try this one, where the float distance or the distance of the x is the mouse's x minus the gun's x minus the center, and then do the same thing for the y. And then if we were to try that again, we're going to see, and 
once again read the declaration. My bad. Uh, okay, now we're gonna see that the gun actually rotates on it. So this is basically just the way of doing it. Uh, you want to get the distance for what you want to aim it at minus where it's at, and then it's like I said, depending on like the shape of your gun and whatnot, depending on the shape of your player, you want to adjust it um, based on that, because uh, you know a gun could have an L shape where it's the handle and the barrel of the gun, so you you want to be able to make sure it comes out of the barrel uh, whenever you want to shoot, I guess basically. But this is just the way to rotate it, where it's just the arc tangent of this y distance and this x distance. Um, this is the whole code right here. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, I'm gonna I published another video. I'm publishing at the exact same time as this one. We're gonna cover how to once we got the guns rotation, how to uh, calculate where a bullet should go. So the velocity of the bullets in this direction. The reason I'm not covering it over in this video, even though this is a short video, is that I want to have both the titles different. So then, if someone wants to find out how to rotate something or how to point something in one direction, they know how to do that. And if someone also wants to find out how to um, calculate the direction a bullet should go based on its position, they can find that. Just because I know if I were to look for something like this, that's probably two different things I would search. So I'm just having it as two quick videos showing how to do it. Um, so you can check out the video. I should have it somewhere here on the screen. And thanks again for watching and see you guys again next time.